We are on to the kerfing stage, or installation, rather. Kerfing is this long strip of thin wood. It's been slotted to accommodate the curves of the guitar. Essentially, we'll be gluing it to the edges, and it'll give us more surface area to glue the tops and bottom of the guitar to. The kit comes with four strips of kerfing that you'll have to cut down to size, and that's what I'm doing right here. I'm starting with a dry fit of the kerfing to make sure everything lines flush with the tail block and neck block. After I was confident with the kerfing fitting, I started to glue it together and I really tried to use as little glue as possible to avoid overspill. Additionally, you want to make sure to leave a 1 32nd inch overhang of the kerfing over the sides. Eventually, this will be sanded down flush. It's the next day, and I'm removing the clothespins that were acting as clamps for the kerfing. And make sure to let the glue dry for at least 24 hours before you start sanding. Here I'm using a white pencil to just mark the top edge of the sides. This is going to give you a little indication mark of how far you've sanded. You definitely don't want to sand into the rosewood because that's going to change the contour or the radius and it might mess up the way the back adheres. Per the instructions, I've created this sanding jig and it consists of a 2x4 with a 5 degree wedge stuck on one side and some 150 grit sandpaper stuck on the other side. And the reason we need this is because the back is radius by 5 degrees and therefore we need to uh, sand the kerfing down with that same radius therefore giving us a better contact for the back when we adhere it. Now is also the time where we can sand the neck and tail blocks flush to the edges of the sides and the kerfing. Um, if there's too much overhang, you can start by sawing it off, but I just straight up sanded it off with 150 grit paper.
As you can see, this was a multi-session part of the project based on the uh, camera change angles and the clothing changes, but your hard work will be rewarded. Now that the side and uh, kerfing are glued on and sanded, I've moved on to cutting the rosewood out of the dovetail joint. Um, as you can see, I've edited this a little out of order. There's bracing notches already on the kerfing, but we'll get to that later. To remove the rosewood out of the dovetail joint, I've marked out the rough outline of where it should be, and with a ruler and a sharp knife, I'm just scoring along the line um, making a deep enough score to eventually break off each side. Now with a sharp chisel, I'm going to clean up the edges of the dovetail joint. I didn't get footage of this, but I also used a rounded file to finish off um, sanding the edges of the bottom of the dovetail 